Hey guys, welcome back to Trimmer Trails. Today we're gonna do a short introduction video about how to hack into your trimmer. All you're gonna need is a laptop and a dongle from Amazon and you too can start customizing certain things inside your truck. Like the double honk horn, you wanna get rid of that when you wake up everybody in the morning, you can do that. How about turning off that seatbelt alarm when you're out on the deer lease or you're out on a slow trail and you don't want your seat belt but it's constantly going off, you can fix that. There's all kinds of different things you can do inside the computer to make this truck more customizable for you. So let's dive into it. Today we're gonna to be talking about Forescan and a quick introduction into what this program is all about. Let's go. Start the clock. So I'll be the first to admit it, I'm slow on the uptake. I learned about Forescan probably about six months ago and I just now finally got my dongle to start messing with it. For you guys that don't know, like me, Forescan has been around for years and people have been modifying and doing different custom things inside their computers on their Ford trucks for years and years and years. So this isn't a brand new program. What they've also done with Forescan as of late is that now you don't have to go in and change zeros and ones and whatnot. You can actually go in and just click a button to make a modification. Now, not all of the modifications are on the simple format. Some of them you still have to go in and add values. But all in all, it's getting to be a more user-friendly program. And while I'm not a big computer guy at all, I was able to work through it pretty simple. It's antiquated PC kind of software, so you gotta get your head wrapped around that. Just think 1998 or 2000, somewhere in there, and you'll be fine to go. So it's really simple to get this procedure going. All you're gonna need, of course, is your OBD link. This is an EX, this is the attached version. They also make a uh, Bluetooth model now, but I didn't wanna spend the extra money on it seeing how I'm only gonna use this for a few different things. You're gonna simply plug that into the truck right here, which is under your steering wheel. And then of course you're gonna be plugged into your laptop. Once you open the program, you're gonna to have to turn on the truck. You don't have to start the engine per se, but you gotta turn it on. Then all you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the car icon at the top and you're gonna hit the connect to button, which is down here at the corner. It says connect to vehicle. Once you hit that, boom, you're gonna get a pop-up screen that says make sure the ignition is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this one has a faster speed. So I'm gonna hit yes, which is optimized for that. I already have my trimmer saved in here. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is save your profile first. And also, anytime that you do a modification, you wanna make sure that you save the stock format first before you start changing values. That way, if something happens, you can go back and fix it. So other than that, you have several different kind of little uh, icon modes over here that I haven't dove completely hardcore into yet. But really the main one that you're gonna to wanna to do is it looks like a little computer chip with an S and this gives you all of your modules. And so what you do is you're gonna go into different modules and you can, and you can uh, modify them as you see fit. Now, there's the as-built format, which is where you're gonna to have to change it into values, and there's just the regular mode for some of these. So let's say, let's go into uh, the body control module, which is a BDYCM. We're gonna double click that, and then we're gonna hit the little play button down at the bottom, and it's gonna read all of these different blocks, and then you'll be able to get into the module itself. And so in here, you have all kinds of different things. Now. Another note to make is that if you don't have, like, say there's glare-free headlights, but those are only on the 402. So if you have a 401, you're not going to be able to update that feature. But if you want glare-free headlights where you actually will have your brights on, but when you're going down a road, you, it actually doesn't blind the car coming at you. It's new technology that, uh, for the longest time, was not allowed in the United States for some reason, but now it is. You can enable that on your truck if that's something you want to do, which is really cool. I haven't done that yet personally, but that's going to be one of the next ones I do. The first one I wanted to do out of the gate was the double horn honk. I can't stand that thing. Getting up in the morning, I close the door, I'm warming up the truck, and that horn goes off and it wakes everybody up or it just goes right in my ear. It's a really simple, easy fix. All you're going to do is you got to find what module for whatever thing you're trying to customize. And for the double horn honk, it's going to be in the body control module. So you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find that double horn honk leaving cab, right? And then once you go in there, you're gonna see, okay, I already have mine disabled, but it'd be enabled. All you're gonna do is you're gonna double click that, boom, boom, I'll change it for you because it's really simple. You hit, for us, we're gonna now enable it again. We're gonna hit the check mark. And then you're not done. This is the part that you gotta do is you gotta come down to the right feature. And once you write that, 
It's going to say, are you sure? Blah, 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 blah. And you say yes. And then it's going to say cycle the engine. And all you're going to do is you're going to turn off your power. And you can turn back on your power. And after that, the computer has reset itself and now you're not gonna have the double horn honk. And it's really as simple as that. Just a couple things to remember about it though, is like I said, not every feature is gonna work and don't go double horn honk and windshield wipers and auto locks. Don't do everything at one time. Do one thing at a time, ride it, and then go on to the next thing. Apparently when you try and do more things than one at a time, it freaks out the computer and it doesn't work. There are several different things you can do with this, which is really exciting for me. I look forward to diving into it. Really, this is a PSA, like I said, for you guys that are like me that are slow on the uptake. I think the link itself was like 40 or 60 bucks. I can't remember. The Bluetooth one was around 200 or $160. And all you need is a PC crappy laptop to get the program working. It's not an intensive program. It doesn't use up hard drive space or anything, anything like that. I do know they have an iOS now out now as well, but I haven't messed with it and I don't know enough about it to say, yes, you can use a Mac or not. But Really check this thing out and dive into it, guys, because it's really fun to be able to start tweaking on a lot of your stuff. I'm really happy I got rid of the double horn honk. I've already got rid of the seat belt thing. Uh, like I mentioned, when I'm out on the deer lease or when I'm driving out, even out on trails going really slow or filming, I can't stand that chime going off nonstop. There are several different mods that you can do that would take me an hour to say what all of the different things are. If you wanna dive in and get a lot of info, for guys like us with the trimmer, probably the best spot to go right now is gonna be f150trimmer.com. There is a massive thread where they have dove into this for the past two years and give you tons of different uh, ideas, troubleshoots, and data spreadsheets so that you can go in and actually change certain values for what you're trying to look for. I look forward to diving into more of these options. I'm just happy that the double horn honk's gone and my seatbelt's gone. I'm probably gonna add the clusters where I can see the actual temperature gauges of my transmission and oil and water. That would be beneficial. And I probably will try the glare free out to see what it's all about with the headlights. Um, of course, you can do Bambi mode as well, which I didn't mention. Like I said, it would take me an hour to talk about all the different things you can do. Just start diving into it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more content like this, I'll be more than happy to actually walk through the whole program with you. There's probably thousands of videos on YouTube that do a better job of describing the program, walking through the program as a tutorial for how to get to those mods. So that's why I didn't bore you with it. I just wanted to notify a lot of you guys like me that maybe know about it a little bit but haven't dove into it um, or people that have no clue what Forescan actually is. It's a cool little program and it's cool to be able to start modifying and tricking out your truck in certain little aspects. So go check it out. It's a free program. You get a two month free uh, key to open up the program. And then when that two month key expires, you just go get another key. So the only thing you're out is your dongle. And if you have to get a laptop, get a crappy little PC laptop and call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching this. And until next time, we hope to see you guys out there on the trails. Bye.